Okay. Yeah. I, uh, I heard about Elizabeth and Nicholas. It's old news. It's a bad idea for you to drink. I'm off duty. You're an addict. I'm not interested in a lecture. It's nothing personal. Lucky, I was there when you, when you got hooked, okay? I saw the damage that was done. It nearly cost you your career. I just want to enjoy beer, play a game of pool, and chill. You're my best detective. Thank you. Yeah, but you can't let something like this... What? I can't let something like this what? Ruin my life? It won't. This whole Elizabeth sleeping with Nicholas thing, it's, it's actually kind of liberating. I mean, all, all the fantasies are gone now. I don't have to worry about trying to make her happy. I don't have to worry about anything. You know, uh, the same thing happened to me. When Felicia ditched me and ran off with your father. It's rough, isn't it? Lucky, you got a choice. You know, I mean, you can either say the hell with it and let it all go, or you can step up and be a man and take care of yourself and your addiction and the people who need you. How's Dante? He survived the surgery. I just called to check on him. He's awake, he's coherent, he's in ICU. Who was with him? It's all the information I could get from Epiphany. That's a lot, thank you. Okay. What was in there last night? Uh, uh, you know, I got through it. Jason said Diane's trying to get you out of bail. I had, I had dinner the night before Christmas with, with Olivia and Dante, the night that I, I cooked for the kids and they had to leave. They really did go to church to volunteer or have a shot. No, I understand. I, I should have known better. I should have. Anyway, uh, Olivia showed up first and Dante, and we were sitting there eating, and I had a connection with, with both of them. We were all laughing, you know, talking about the Yankees and how I used to sneak Olivia into the Yankee Stadium. And Dominic mentioned that the, the chicken dinner reminded him of his grandmother's. And you were somehow supposed to piece it all together. I think I mean? was. I, 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 Come I, on. I was connected to him from the beginning. I like the way, he, you know, he thinks. And I, and I really believe he could have run the organization one day. He had those kind of instincts. And when he came to arrest me, he didn't even call for backup. That's his arrogance. Like you. He looked me in the eye when I was about to kill him. He didn't beg for his life. He gave me a damn lecture, and I should, if I just waited a couple of seconds. And in a perfect world, if Olivia would have told you and him the truth, she, she came did. in. She came in screaming. You shot your son. I watched him on the floor, and I said to myself, "My kids will always pay for the terrible things that I've done." You saved Mom and Jocelyn. You should be a hero. Yeah, well, that isn't the way it works. It does sound like self-defense. I bet Ms. Miller could get you out of it. Why don't you tell the police what you just told us? Well, I wanted to, but I... I talked to Jax. He talked me out of it. He said that there was no evidence and that I'll just make things worse. But if there's a way to prove that both you and Dad are innocent, then we should do it. But the, uh, Hi. Okay, Mom walks in the room. Everybody's quiet. That can't be very good. Hey, hey. any luck on Belle? Diane is meeting with the judge, and Carly's going to talk to Sonny, so maybe he'll listen to her. Police officers. 
for search warrant. Um, okay, before you search anything, we need to see the warrant, please. A crucial piece of evidence went missing in the Dante Falconeri case this morning. We have reason to believe you have in your possession. <laughs> so you're a cop too? The NYPD. Dante's my partner. Grew up together. Now I'm gonna make it my personal mission to put you in a cell right next to your boss for the rest of your miserable life. 